Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Linux VM on Azure, uh, in particular an Ubuntu VM. If you do find this video helpful, uh, please do subscribe and please do check out my Patreon, where I add content around Azure, Linux, um, on a regular basis. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, um, now that I'm in Azure, I want to click Create Resource here, which is going to take me uh, to the Create Resource page. I want to search for Ubuntu here. The marketplace. I'm going to take, um, I think this one has the free trial, so I'm going to take uh, Ubuntu Pro LTS. I'll click here. I'm going to click create, which is going to take me into the VM um, VM setup. So I'm going to give this a name, I'm going to call it um, Don Ubuntu. Um, let me get rid of that space. Um, I'm going to leave it in North Europe, that's close to me. I'm going to leave it as one availability zone. Security standard, I'm going to call it x86. Uh, this is just important here. Make sure you select an instance. I'm selecting this one because it's good and small, because it's only five bucks a month. So make sure you select one that is small. And obviously be aware of leaving machines powered on. I am going to create an SSH public key. So uh, Azure will generate this for me. I'm going to say generate new key pair, uh, leave it as Azure user, that's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow port 22 in for the moment, um, but I'll show you how, how we'll block that in a couple of minutes. So just put it down to your IP only, because it's important that we secure that. Okay, so with that, I'm just going to click next. Okay, so it's going to take us on to uh, networking now, and well, first disk, then networking, excuse me. So I'm just going to go standard, um, standard disk. I don't want the premium. I want to delete the disk with the VM. I don't want to encrypt it. This is only a, uh, you know, a test. I'll leave everything is here. I want to click next for networking. So this is fine. Um, just create a new virtual network. That's fine by me. Um, gonna say yeah, the subnet's fine. Create a new public IP. Um, public inbound ports will allow twenty two. And as I said, we'll show how to. Uh, lock this down um, in a minute. We don't want any load balancer, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to leave all these as are, um, which is fine. I'm going to click next for monitoring. I'm going to leave monitoring as default, I'm going to click next. Um, on advanced, I'm just going to leave everything as next. Tags, I'm just going to leave as is. And then we're going to get to the review page. Okay. So we can see here, um, we should get our review momentarily. Okay, so this all looks good. So it's gonna double check everything here. Um, it all looks fine. So I'm gonna click create down here in the lower left. And it's gonna prompt me to download the private key. So I'm gonna click to download the private key. Perfect, and we can see Don Ubuntu key and I'll return to create the virtual machine. So this is creating now. Um, and while this is creating, what I'm going to show you, and I have another video that goes in more depth on how to do this, so I'll link it. But um, I use Putty, so if you use Putty to connect, you'll need to do this step. If you're using um, you know, Mac or Linux, just connect um, as you normally do. So I have Putty Gen on, on my machine, and again, I'll link to where I show this in more detail. But I'm going to load, um, load this PEM in here, so I'm going to click Load. I'm um, going to go up to Downloads, I'll change this to All Files, and we'll just click the Ubuntu key. Click Open, and I want to click Save the Private Key, okay? And I'm just going to save, I have a video for a bit of this, I have a folder for a bit of this work I'm doing at the moment. So we'll call this New Key. Okay, so we've done that. So again, that's just if you're using Putty, you need to do that step. Okay, so let's click back on Azure. We're gonna click back to home. I'm going to look for my resource groups. And I can see this Dawn Ubuntu group. Perfect, let me click in here. And let me come down to the, um, let me just look for the network and security group. So you'll see network and security group here. You should see one in your resource group. Let me click there. And we can see now we have this port 22 that's allowing, um, you know, it's allowing access from everywhere. So what we want to do is we want to actually look on changing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on SSH here. 
And where it says source, I'm just going to say my IP address. I'm going to click save. So basically that means that only I am allowed SSH into this into this machine. Um, so it should hopefully be saved in a minute. Um, and it has. Okay, so let me click back into our resource groups here and click back in. And we can see we have our virtual machine here. So I'm going to click into it. And we can see this is our VM. So what we're going to do is we're now going to connect into the VM um, via, via PuTTY. So I'm going to click connect up here. I'm going to click SSH. And it gives us some options here. But we can see this is the important Azure user at. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open up normal PuTTY. That's a previous session I had. So let me just open up normal PuTTY. And close this. Let me pull this over. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste that connection string in here. I'm going to go to SSH, down to Auth, and I'm going to click Browse. And this is the new key that we've created here. I'm going to click Open on this. I'm going to click Open again. And then we're going to connect to the VM. Okay, so I'm going to click Accept here. And we can see we're authenticating with the public key. And that's it. We're now in onto Ubuntu. Um, which is which is great. So you know we've now provisioned an Ubuntu VM on Azure, um, which is good. So that's really quick how how to do it. Um, if this was helpful, please do subscribe, and again, please check out my Patreon. And before we close, um, let's be sure to delete everything, because that is important. And um, if you have a free account, some of this will be covered. But we don't want to uh, be charged for stuff that maybe we aren't really using. So I'll show you how to do that really quick. So I'm going to click on my resource groups. We're going to see Darren Ubuntu group. I want to click into it. I want to click this delete resource group. And it's going to say I need to uh, put the name in. So I'll copy here. I'm going to paste. I want to say apply for us. I want to click delete. And that will clean everything up for us. Um, again, I do hope that that was helpful. Um, any questions, feel free as always to reach out to me in the comments below. And thank you for watching.